Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're addressing a question that many users of text editors might have. Our viewer is currently using Sight and appreciates the ability to adjust the caret blinking rate through a simple configuration. Now they're exploring Sublime Text 3 on Linux Mint 18.1 and are curious about how to achieve the same effect. They've found some caret properties, but are struggling to locate the specific setting for caret blinking speed. Let's dive into how we can help them change the caret blinking rate in Sublime Text 3. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully getting you to that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and get through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To change the caret blinking speed in Sublime Text 3, we first need to understand that Sublime Text does not provide a direct setting for caret blinking rate like Sight does. However, you can customize the caret's appearance using the settings available in the Preferences file. Let's open the Preferences menu. In the User Settings file, you can adjust properties related to the caret. For example, you can set the caret style and its extra dimensions. While these settings do not directly change the blinking speed, they can affect how the caret appears and behaves. Unfortunately, Sublime Text does not currently support a specific caret blinking rate adjustment. If you need a specific blinking rate, consider providing feedback to the Sublime Text development team as user suggestions can lead to future updates. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To change the caret blinking speed in Sublime Text 3 on Linux Mint, you need to adjust your OS settings. Sublime Text uses the system's cursor blink rate. On Linux Mint, the setting location may vary, but on Ubuntu Mate, you can find it under System Menu, Preferences, Hardware, and then Keyboard. For reference, on Windows 7, you can change the cursor blink rate through Control Panel, Hardware and Sound, and then Keyboard Settings. And that's it, guys. I hope this video helped get you the answer that you're looking for. Now, I'll see you next time. Please subscribe for more question and answer videos. And if you have any more, please shoot them through in the comments. Have a good one.